just arrived at the Peace Buddha Temple and uh, on this really, really high altitude mountain range area, it is very bright. Hardly can open my eyes. Having a coffee here. This place is built eight years ago. That's Regina. <laughs> Now we're at this beautiful and super long suspension bridge in the uh, Nepal Valley here. Now we're on the suspension bridge. The view is beautiful. And then you can see a little bit of waterfall here and there are like pine trees behind me. The pine trees here, the needles are super long and the cones are pretty big as well. This is the Nepal ice, strong, super strong beer. Thai ball, which aka Red Bull. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes. Oui, oui. Up there, there's a uh, Nepal's second longest zip line. Hi! Make the samosa here on the mountain here. Handmade, fresh. What's inside? Potato, peas. What's your name? Suraz. Suraz, okay. Come eat samosa from Suraz. <laughs> so hot. Very nice. Yeah. It's not good. It's too spicy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it smells good. Buffalo. Buff. Buff, buff. Now we're on this quiet trail with a lot of pine trees. Hello! It's a flower. What is it? You call your flower? Tastes good? Yes. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Hmm, sour. Yes. Hmm. This color is in them. Oh, bitter and sour. Take this. Good, good. <laughs> Tastes good. You can see the moon there. This is a nice waterfall, however. Even though this is a beautiful waterfall, there's garbage everywhere and there's also plastic inside of the water. If this were in Canada, I'd definitely jump in because it'll be a lot cleaner. But no, probably not gonna jump in here because it looks a little bit dirty. My Nepali Sati! Hey, it's a video! Like Maybe for the sap, no? yeah. <laughs> what is this? Is this chicken barbecue? Chicken, chicken barbecue looks nice. It's big. <laughs> Going back to the city, of course, you're still gonna have some more momos. There are also some very nice bakeries in Kathmandu. You can take a stroll by Rani Pakhari when you get back to the city and the sunset is quite nice here as well.